Well, tonight we're learning more about the man accused of setting fires at two mosques in Minneapolis. While at the courthouse today, Lou Raguse sifted through the details of Jackie Little's history following his first federal court appearance today. An affidavit written by an ATF agent includes several surveillance images tying Jackie Little to two mosque arsons, as well as vandalism targeting Somali Americans, including Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. Back in January, investigators say these photos show Little shoplifting spray paint at Target downtown Minneapolis, then entering Omar's district office and tagging the number 500 on a door. He did the same at the entrance of the Somali mall and on the squad car of a Somali MPD officer, the court papers say. April 23rd, Little is caught on camera carrying a brown paper bag into the Masjid Omar Islamic Center on East 24th Street in Minneapolis, where people inside chased him from a bathroom, igniting a box and leaving a gas can behind. The next day, April 24th, surveillance cameras caught Little on a bus and walking down a sidewalk with a gas can before the Mercy Islamic Center was set on fire. Ten minutes later, he's seen on a gas station camera buying a gas can and filling it up. The ATF agent wrote that Little's mother told him he's had a fascination with fire from a young age and she suspects him in other unreported arsons. Plus, she told the agent Little once extensively harassed a Muslim woman, including sending her a photo of the Koran in the toilet. Someone sent a similar photo to Congresswoman Omar around the time her office was vandalized, and investigators believe that was Little as well. After a 2021 arson charge, the Minnesota Freedom Fund twice bailed Little out of jail. But now as a federal defendant, it'll be solely up to the judge whether he will be released before trial. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. Little will be back in federal court Thursday. We'll have the latest developments in this case both on air and online.